What's up everyone? So this right here is a mechanical counter and the way it works is as you move this lever, it increments the count by one. So what I think the coolest part about it is when it gets to nine, it automatically increments the next wheel to make it 10. And it will do that all the way up to 999. So this whole thing is 3D printed. There's no hardware in this. There's no electronics in it. It's just PLA. And it can also count backwards as well. I saw this mechanism on YouTube and it got me fired up because I just love mechanical stuff like this. It's sort of obsolete at this point. So I wanted to make a version that was 3D printable that you guys could download and print at home. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to put this thing together and we can chat a little bit after about how this thing works. So let's get right into it. I'm Jay, this is JBV Creative. Let's create. The files for these parts are available on my website. They're also available for free for all my Patreon subscribers. And I've done all the work for you guys to set everything up. All you have to do is drop the parts into the slicer, make sure they fit on the bed, and then hit print. So once you've done that, we can start putting this whole thing together. And it's actually a lot easier than it looks. So the first thing we're gonna do is grab this incrementing wheel, and we're gonna attach it to this number wheel right here. So all you have to keep in mind when you're doing that is when these holes line up on the back, these two teeth right here are gonna be facing the six. So once you've got that oriented right, you can pop three stubby pins into there and then C-clamp it into place. It may help to use one of these pieces right here to push the pins all the way in. Now we have to repeat that step with the other incrementing wheel and the next number wheel with the holes in the back. And the same orientation applies. You gotta line up these two teeth to the six. Three pins and a C-clamps and we can move on to the next step. So the next thing we're gonna do is grab your incrementing lever and this piece that looks like a little bit like a horseshoe with some the horseshoe goes into the back of the lever and then you can throw a C-clamp on that. Next, grab your base and this lever will slide in through the top slot in the base and the shaft on the lever will come through the bottom hole here and then you can throw a C-clamp on that to secure it. Move it a couple of times just to make sure everything's moving okay and then we can move on to the next step. So now it's time to slide the number rings into the base. So let's start with the one that has the sprocket and this large spacer coming out of it. And that slides right up against the side that we just put the lever into. Next, grab the number ring with the incrementing ring on the side. That will slide in right up against that. And then you can slide the last one in. Now line up the center hole of all the rings and then you can pop this shaft in all the way through. You might need to wiggle it around until you can get all the holes lined up. But once that's in, throw one of these big C-clamps on this end right here. Next, grab this wheel right here, and that will slide onto the other end. That will push through the hole in the base and will attach right into this first ring here. And you'll know it's in if you can rotate the first ring using this dial right here. Throw the other big C-clamp on the end of this big shaft to secure it all into place. So it helps to line up all the zeros, and you can see all the zeros are lined up for the number rings. And then you can grab one of these small gears and with the side that's missing teeth facing this lever, you can slot that in between these two flanges on the base and then use one of the longest pins to hold that into place. And you can secure that with a C-clamp. Then repeat that with the other gear facing the same direction. Sweet. So the last thing to do is to put these two detents in. So let's start with the top one, which is the one that looks like this. And that will line up with these two holes in this orientation. Then use two of these medium pins to hold into place. And you guessed it, C-clamps. Next, grab the bottom detent. That will line up with the two holes on the bottom here on the base and make sure it's in this orientation. And then the remaining two pins will hold that into place as well. And you can finish this baby off with a couple more C-clamps. And boom, that's it. So incrementing, move the lever this way. Decrementing, move the lever this way. And you can also manually move things using this side dial. So let's chat a little bit about the mechanism that makes this work. So these small gears right here are the thing that makes this entire mechanism work. So these are called carrier gears. And you'll notice that there's missing teeth on one of the sides. And the gap between these two teeth right here fit perfectly against the outer edge of these incrementing rings. So normally this carrier gear is locked and it can't move. But once a rotation, the teeth on these incrementing rings come around and they engage with this carrier gear, allowing it to rotate this exact amount, which using this eight to 20 gear ratio gives you exactly one tenth of a rotation of these number gears, which is one single numbers increment. So the same mechanism is operating between 
this number ring and this number ring, and this number ring is this number ring. So every time this rotates one full rotation, this increments this by one, and every time this rotates by one full rotation, it increments this by one. So a cool feature of this mechanism is it actually works the same way in reverse, which is what allows us to be able to increment and decrement using the exact same action. And that's the mechanical counter. It's such a cool mechanism and there's something so satisfying about watching all three numbers move at the same time. Nowadays, everything is digital and done with electronics and the art of mechanical design is kind of being lost on us. So it's really awesome to see something like this working, especially something that was just fully 3D printed. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate you guys giving me the opportunity to spend my time designing and developing stuff like this. If there's anyone that you know that would get a kick out of it, please share it with them. It helps me unbelievably more than I can express to you guys and I really, really appreciate it. I would love to hear what you guys think, so drop some comments below. I'm looking forward to responding to all of you and Stay tuned, there's tons more mechanisms and just cool 3D prints coming. So follow along, hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.